Well, let's say that you need a little room in your closet. Okay, you're not alone because personally I can relate. Professional organizer Helen Austin is going to show us and share some tips on how to create space that you desperately need. One of my things that I really love that's super cheap and easy, especially in a closet that I can't change structurally because I'm a renter right now. So I like to use these crates. They're only three to four dollars a piece. So you can see I'm using them to give extra space to add two bins on top. Plus it gives you like a shelf divider as well. It keeps things from toppling over. So I have jeans down here. A lot of people do like sweatshirts. I also have handbags up above. And also know you can use actual cube inserts. I have one up in there. And that's actually what these are too. They fit right into that so perfectly. It's a really cheap and inexpensive way. So flexible, totally worth it. The next thing I'd like to tell you about is people underestimate how much it can help your space by having all the same hanger and preferably hangers that hold on to your clothes so things aren't falling off a lot. And so I recommend these velvet flocked hangers. It gives a nice seamless look all the way across rather than having all these different colors and different shapes. This allows you to fit more and it's just so much easier on the eye. You'll notice my closet's not color coded. Um, you will not see a rainbow in any of my spaces because I don't always know if it's really all that functional. Um, do know that um, it can make it more difficult for you to put your clothes back. So if it works for you, keep doing it. Um, I definitely don't. I just group by tank tops, short sleeves, just categories that make sense. So when I get dressed, I know what to look for and where to find it. The next thing is that I like to use all of my vertical space. I have almost every inch of the walls covered in my closet because I'm gonna use it all. I need it all. I have lots of tiny things. On the wall on far back, I use 3M hooks for jewelry. I do have a shoe organizer nailed to the wall at the top. Works so great for all this little random stuff. Make sure you buy the clear pocket ones and you can hang things and have a quick spot to grab things. This is where the door would fall in back. So it's kind of this great dead space that you can actually go ahead and utilize. The next thing is to make sure you have a spot for items that need to be donated. So I keep a laundry basket in this random back corner where I can get clothes into it, but it's not super accessible because I don't get into it that often. But I have a place when I make a quick decision on something that I want to donate, it drops right in here. So then it's full, you put this in your car and you take it to your favorite donation center. Lastly, the next thing people often forget is that we bring a lot of new clothes in and having scissors. So I have a little um, 3M command hook here, plus also a trash can. Put a trash can and some scissors in your closet and call it a day you have been successful. And it looks like Helen was using every inch of that wall space. A great hack there using command hooks to hang up your jewelry. Bill, 